Hey there guys, Skippy here from Skippy 6 Gaming coming to you from Tutorial Land and today, let's see, over here we're going to do a super simple on-off nether portal. Uh, I made it all fancy looking, <laughs> I don't know why, I just wanted to use some cool things. So as you can see, this one's going to be a little bit, you know, there's one step extra, but it really breaks it down to super simple as you can see. So pretty much as it stands, guys, uh, you walk up here and you press the button and it turns on easy enough here what you're going to do is this button basically controls the water off so two, turning it two times is actually proper so you hit it once the water comes out and you hit the other one suck the water back in so that's the only thing different about this one is that you got to press the water one twice but honestly uh it is pretty much as simple as it gets this <laughs> super simple ready for any survival world ready to go i think it looks pretty cool so on that note let's get what we need and uh let's make this bad boy for this build, you are going to need two dispensers, two wooden buttons, two sticky pistons, about a stack of redstone, give or take a few blocks, uh, eight blocks of choice, six redstone repeaters, ten obsidian, one bucket of water, and then lots, you know, whatever. If you have a blaze farm, it's not much. A bunch of fire so charges. here we are, getting it done, getting it done in this survival world. And now we got all the stuff that we need. Let's find a good spot. How about there? get your obsidian out obsidian is the key to success <laughs> use them all use them use a lot of them if you want uh, build up the side you can skip the corners i might just skip the corners nah maybe i'll get rid of them after i'm so used to being chintz yeah that's what i think okay so we got our nether portal and we want to make uh this automatic so first things first grab your dispensers one here one here then we're gonna run to the back side Grab your block of choice and wrap it around the dis nope, not like that. Dispenser. Grab yourself a redstone repeater and point them into each other. Put the right one on four ticks delay. Looks good. Come back here. Redstone dust, redstone dust on both sides. Okay. Let's fill this up in here. I'll just use... I'll just use obsidian colored. A whole jump star up here. I like it. Looks good. Dark. Okay, so. We need some buttons. You know what? Hold on. Let's grab a wood button. And throw the wood buttons up there and up there. Okay. Now, dig out in front of the nether portal. Two deep and three long too wide sticky pistons one here one here block of choice whatever your floor is or whatever you want actually right there and then grab your repeaters repeater into here repeater into here and two pieces of redstone dust and now pretty much everything is ready to go I think what we're going to do is bring the signal around, so just go right to the side of this one, down two, and all the way around. One, two, one, two. Right there. Oh, I had to mess up. Put that guy there. Maybe I... Yep. All the way around. Looks good. It's going to line up right up there with the, with the front, or with the back side. Bring this guy down, and then all the way to the front. I think right here we'll probably throw a repeater in because the signal uh, might... No, we're good. Let's do again the same thing on the other side. Oh, I hate doing that. All the way to the back. Almost there. Dust, dust, dust all the way to the front. Dust up in there. Perfect. Either side puts the blocks up, either to block the fire charge or the water, and start closing up the floor. Looks good, sits right in there, pretty flush, no one can tell, well, I guess you can tell by the two dispensers. And, yeah, so, build up a little box if you want, do whatever you want. I like to add a few uh, extra bedazzlings, but, that's your call. And, now, let's go up here. And fire charges. Grab your fire charges, throw them in there. Grab a bucket of water. Throw it in there. And there you go. It's pretty easy, guys. Like I said before, 
the one the only difference with this is you have to press the off or the water button twice in a row that's the only difference but honestly for the easiness I know you know like it's not that hard I'll do that that's pretty simple if you ask me but the amount of redstone you save and the, and the effort in order just to make this do a double pulse uh, it's not even worth it I think I like it to press it twice to turn it off press it once to turn it on sounds like a win and there you go. Don't forget, guys, smash that like button if you love Skippy6 Gaming. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video on social media with your friends. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I'll catch you in the next one.